2018 is billed to be the year Kenya is expected to make an economic rebound. But this is likely to be checkered with the risk of huge debt accrued by the government. And with the pending repayment of the first portion of the over 250 billion shillings euro bond loan, experts at control risks reckon the government should now tempt public debt estimated at over 4.5 trillion shillings. So whilst we don't think there's going to be any sovereign default or we don't think there's going to be a debt crisis this year, focusing on how governments are looking to address the debt issue, the fiscal management processes that they put in place, how they're looking to raise those revenues and what that um, means for investors um, themselves, so particularly I think on the tax perspective and raising international finance, we'll be watching that very closely and I think that's that's across the region in sort of every country. Besides the Eurobond, the government is expected to start servicing at least three other credit facilities with a combined value of an estimated 600 billion shillings which will be due this year. Further compounding the situation is a plan by the government to float yet another sovereign bond worth close to 150 billion shillings. We are borrowing uh, to pay debt. Now that is not sustainable and it will be interesting to see um, how the government deals with fiscal uh, management uh, uh, going forward. A, you need to look how much how much the governments are using to service the debt, so what percentage of GDP is being used to service that debt, so that's important. Last week, Moody's projected that government debt would increase to 61% of the GDP in the 2018-2019 fiscal year from 56% of the GDP in the current financial year and 41% of the GDP four years ago. Consequently, the rating agency downgraded Kenya's credit worthiness, something that analysts say could affect the government's plan to borrow from international financial markets with a trickle-down effect hurting the entire economy. If it goes unabated, the debt issue is likely to result into a financial crisis with funds just enough to service critical government operations. Patrick Igunza, JKL.